I think it's important to grow your own potatoes because the flavour is so much better. Anybody can grow their own potatoes. It doesn't take a high level of skill and you don't even have to have a garden. And then you can enjoy that wonderful flavour that you will never get from a potato that you bought from the supermarket. If you have a garden, or even if you're growing them in a pot for that matter, the first thing to do is to chip your potatoes to get them a little bit advanced so that we get the tubers nice and early. Now, how do we go about planting these potatoes in the ground? The ground was dug in the autumn and well-rotted manure incorporated. Now, at the end of March, we need to break down those large clods into smaller crumbs, so we're going to fork it over. And we're also going to earth up the potatoes, so we want the ground to be nice and loose to make that easier. We can also incorporate a general fertiliser, which will give the potatoes a good start in life. You then need to level the ground using a garden rake. Now, we've got to mark out where the potatoes go. First row will be 30 centimetres in from the edge of the plot. My second row, if I choose to have one, will be 60 centimetres. Third row, 60 centimetres and so on. To get it nice and straight, we use a garden line, which enables us to get a lovely taut, tight line, which won't move when I do the next procedure. Once we've got the line in, we need to take out the trench. We can either use the edge of a draw hoe or we can use a spade. The ground here is still quite wet, so I've actually used a spade. The depth of the trench needs to be 6 inches or 15 centimetres. Now once we've taken the trench out, we need to plant the potatoes. And once again, they're going to go rows end up with the shoots pointing up. They're going to go about 15 centimetres in depth and 30 centimetres or a foot between each seed potato. For the demonstration, I use potatoes that weren't chitted to fit in with the timing of this filming, but you'll be using your nicely chitted potatoes with those lovely dark green shoots facing upwards. Once the potatoes are in, we simply draw back the soil using the garden rake until the ground is level. I need to put a label at each end just to make sure that I know where the potatoes are. And then lightly tamp the soil just to get rid of any air pockets. So what do we need to do next? Nothing really for three to four weeks. Then the shoots will start to come through the ground and we must start earthing up, which we'll cover in the next video. That will protect the new shoots from frost a little bit of protection from potato blight and we'll get more potato tubers.